Greetings and welcome back. Kamal here and I've realized that I've never tried an Italian accent here on the channel before. Unfortunately, my Italian accent is far, far worse than all of the other accents I've tried so far, including the Irishman that sounded more like a Scottish vampire, as remarked by one commenter, and another commented that I sounded like a drunken sailor that I will take as a compliment, so thank you very much. So I just scrapped that idea and to Italian things up instead, I'm going to be solving this Riccati differential equation. Now a Riccati equation is a first order differential equation that's quadratic in the function we're trying to solve for. In this case, we're solving for y in terms of x. So let me just expand this a bit. We got x cubed minus dy by dx equal to y squared by x minus 2y by x. And this can be written as dy by dx equal to x cubed plus 2y by x minus y squared by x. Now the thing about a Riccati equation is that if you have a particular solution, you can solve for the general solution via a nice transformation. Now before we get to that transformation, let's try to work out a particular solution here. Now on the right hand side we have x cubed and we also have this negative y squared divided by x term. So it seems reasonable if we try y sub 1 equal to x squared. Because that way we have 2x on the left hand side because of differentiation. And on the right we have x cubed plus 2x squared by x minus x to the fourth power divided by x. We have some nice cancellation straight away giving us 2x equal to x cubed. Wait terribly sorry about that x cubed plus 2x minus x cubed, which is, of course, true. So that means this thing here is indeed a particular solution. Now the general solution will be y equal to the particular solution, that in this case is x squared, plus 1 over u, where u here is a function of x, of course. Now our equation has the first derivative, so we'd like to differentiate this thing with respect to x, giving us 2x minus 1 by u squared du by dx. Now let me just copy down our differential equation so I can see everything getting transformed. Here we go. So on the left, as we worked out, we have 2x minus 1 by u squared du by dx equal to x cubed plus, let's see, we got 2 by x times y, which is x squared plus 1 by u. Then we have negative 1 by x times x squared plus 1 by u, with the whole thing being squared. On the right-hand side, now we have x cubed plus 2 times x plus 2 divided by x times u, minus 1 by x, and expanding the square gives us x to the fourth power plus 1 by u squared plus 2x squared divided by u. Okay, cool. Immediately now, if I write out the left-hand side, we see some nice cancellation with the two x terms going away. And now we're left with negative 1 by u squared du, terribly sorry about that, du by dx equal to x cubed plus 2 divided by x times u minus x cubed, again, some wonderful cancellation, minus 1 over u squared times x. Then we have 1x cancelling out, so we have 2x divided by u. Okay, cool. So, so we're left with negative 1 by u squared, du by dx equal to 2 divided by x times u, minus 1 by u squared times x, minus 2x divided by u. And we can expand now by negative u squared clean things up further, giving us du by dx on the left equal to, let's see, we got negative 2u divided by x now, minus 1 by x, minus 2x times u. And again, we'll shift things around. No, wait, I made a couple of sign mistakes. We got positive signs here now. Yeah, that's about right. If I did not mess up anything prior to this, yeah, everything looks cool. Everything looks cool so far. So, shifting some stuff around, we have du by dx. And I'm going to take the u terms over here. So we have plus 2 by x minus 2x 
times u equal to 1 by x. What we have now is a linear differential equation which can be solved quite easily using an integrating factor, which in our case is of course e to the integral of whatever function of x is being multiplied to the u variable on the left. So we have 2 by x minus 2x dx, which gives us e to 2 times log x minus x squared, which can be expanded as e to the log x squared times e to the negative x squared, cancellation of the e and the log. So we're left with x squared times e to the negative x squared as our integrating factor, which looks really cool if you think about it. So multiplying the whole thing by the integrating factor, we know that this gives us on the left-hand side the derivative with respect to x of the function u times the integrating factor. So that's exactly what we'll write. And this is equal to 1 by x times x squared times e to the negative x squared. Some nice cancellation takes place. And we need to integrate with respect to x, giving us u times x squared times e to the negative x squared equal to the integral of x times e to the negative x squared dx plus a constant of integration c. And the integral here is pretty standard. We don't even really need a u substitution, just a factor of negative one half here and negative two, wait, negative two here. Everything's balanced as all things should be. And we're left with negative one half of e to the negative x squared plus the constant c. And on the right, we have u times x squared times e to the negative x squared. And of course, we'd like to expand by 1 by x squared times e to the x squared, so that on the left, we're only left with the u variable because of all this nice cancellation. And on the right-hand side, we have negative 1 half, rather, negative 1 by 2 x squared plus c times e to the x squared divided by x squared, which again looks very cool. And we'll write this as negative 1 plus c times e to the negative x squared divided by, wait, we'll write this as negative 1 half. That looks much better. So negative 1 half plus this thing divided by x squared. This thing equals the u variable, but we're interested in y as a function of x, not u as a function of x. So how do we fix that? Well, we just recall that y here is equal to x squared plus 1 by u, which implies that u here is just 1 by y minus x squared, which implies that y minus x squared should be x squared divided by negative 1 half plus c times e to the negative uh, e to the x squared. And this implies that y here is just x squared, which can be factored out from the right-hand side, and we're left with 1 plus 1 divided by... Maybe we can perform some more arithmetic. We can expand by a factor of 2 and absorb the 2 into the constant c because that's just another constant, and we're left with c times e to the x squared minus 1 and this factor of 2 upstairs, and that completes our solution development. That was pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. I hope you learned something from the video as well. Do drop me a follow on Instagram. And in case you like the effort I'm putting out, you can support me on Patreon using the link below. Thank you. See you next time.